All right, I am here with my new friend, Chef Krista Von Wagner. We are in the Taste Culinary Virtual Stage, and today we are going to make Schnitzel Holstein. This segment is sponsored by the New York Pork Producers Cooperative, Inc., and they are a proud sponsor of the Taste of Buffalo. They support all New York pig farmers. They promote education and leadership development initiatives, animal well-being, and environmental responsibility. So we want to thank them for their sponsorship during this segment. Chef Krista, welcome. Oh, We're going to have fun. I'm so excited. We're ready. Look at yes. this. We're going. we got some um, caramelized yes. onions going right now Okay. for our spetzel. Yes. We're gonna, we are going to serve the schnitzel Holstein, but we're gonna serve with a nice garnish as well. All right, so what dish so, are we making first? Well, let's start on our spetzel. Got it. And do you know what spetzel is? I don't, can you tell me? Okay, so <laughs> I'm very individual. Yes. Spetzel. Spetzel very simply is a German dumpling. Yes. Okay, yes. it's done with egg, and these are just yolks. Got it. Okay, egg, and then one whole egg. Got it. Okay, so we're making like a dumpling. Okay. Love it. And then I'm just going to add milk. Yum. Okay, and I'm going to add... We're going to whisk it in. Whisk it in. And okay. if you're cooking at home with us tonight on this fun Saturday evening, we hope that you've got all your ingredients. They're all available at Top Friendly Market. And make sure that you cook this recipe all summer long. Right, Chef? Yeah, so just get those. I use the sweet onion. Vidalia. Yum, okay. okay. Sweet onion, I love it. So I'm how did we prepare this it, pan? Thinly sliced it. I heated it up. I added a little bit of oil. Yep. So I'm, do you know how to, do you know how to saute? To jump? Okay. Saute means to jump. Give it a whirl. I'm going to play. Okay, both hands. Pull it back. You did it. Pull it forward and back up. So she's, I did it. If she's caramelizing, I'm getting that dumpling made, that noodle made. So basically, it's like a, a, a simple dumpling. So I've got yeah. the... Um, the flour. Pour in the flour, got and it. I've got nutmeg, okay, just a sprinkle of nutmeg. And um, I like parsley in mine. Okay. And then just season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. You can always Yum. play with the herbs. Okay. I use fresh ground black pepper and I use kosher. Yum. This is rocks, okay? Fresh ground black pepper. I grind it in my coffee grinder. <gasps> How long has that pepper been sitting in the jar in the grocery? <gasps> Buy the fresh ground and they have them available at top. She grinds it in the coffee grinder? Yes, I'm sorry. I oh, really my, that is such I wipe a it out. I, no, it out. I love it. I love it. But much more aromatic. Bring that to your nose. Much more oh aromatic. Oh, my gosh, yeah. So if you want wow. to be the best, use fresh, fresh, fresh. Listen to the pro. All right, so I'm just going to whisk this in. We've got a pot of boiling water. So okay. I'm going to push this back over there. Okay, we're going to take our caramelized onions. The I'm going to lower so the flame. Let's see. And we'll just we put that it. on low there. Okay, there we go. And that will be on low. I don't want to bump into that handle. So if you're cooking along, start out and get those onions going. Put on a pot of hot um, water, bring it to a boil, salt it a little bit. Yep. I've got towels down here, okay? How salty do you want your water? Oh, salty like the sea. <gasps> okay, yeah, I like that. Salty like the sea. For all my vegetables, it keeps the color for broccoli, it keeps it green. Wow! It keeps the um, green beans green. Wow, I love salty, that. Salty, salty, like the sea. Okay, Just remember that. Just make a SpongeBob, okay? Okay, <laughs> I love so here we go. <laughs> so do I. Okay, so in class, I teach home and careers. I just did a dental mm -hmm. class. Mm -hmm. Of course, SpongeBob was the star. I love it. Yeah, so, Chef, tell in. us, where do you teach? Um, I'm a home and careers teacher for the um, Buffalo Public Schools. Awesome. I'm so proud, and um, I'm hoping for Emerson. Yeah. Down the road, yeah. I'm hoping for Emerson. But I love home and careers. Mm -hmm. I How took a break. Yeah, okay. How did your students do this year adjusting? It was a tough year. Yeah. It was a tough year, but we had fun. I made packets up. Good. They did a needle felting COVID virus. Okay. Which was so much fun. Good. Okay, okay. so here's your batter. Look at that. Wow. Okay, that's it can thickened be, right up. It thickened right up. If it's a little too thick, that's mm -hmm. why I didn't add all the milk. Okay. So do this at home. Just have a little extra milk. It's a little thick. Okay. Pro tip. Okay, it's a little thick. So just, I didn't add all my milk. I add it as I need it. My boiling water is salted. It's ready to go. And don't be afraid to do this. That's what I want to. How much do we whisk it? Do we want um, any clumps? Are we okay? I don't mind the lumps. Okay. It's we like some important. lumps. Okay. You, we've got the boiling water. I'm going to have you just stand there because I'm going to. Yeah. Your job is going to be to scoop them out. I'm ready. Okay. So I'm going to run them through. I've got my spatula. And I've got a um, uh, cold water okay. and ice. Because we're going to take them out of here, yep. we're going to shock them and put them right in there. Okay. 
Okay. Ready. You ready? Ready. All right, let's go. Okay, so we just take a little of the dough. Wow, yum. Okay, and we're going to push it through the holes in my colander. Oh. I didn't spend a lot of money for the real expensive spetzel maker. Okay, but we don't they need make it. Them. No, they make them. Okay, yeah. so just run it through. Do you see the little wow. holes? Take a peek. Oh my goodness. So we're just pushing wow. it through. It's so much fun. This is so fun. At home, I hope that you're cooking along and doing well. Yes. I imagine that your kitchens are smelling great. And we hope that you just made a fun Saturday night of this. We're glad you could be here with us. Yeah, and I want to know how your batter turned out. Was it yeah. too thick? Was it too thin? Yeah. Are you afraid? Did you have boiling water? Yeah. Is it boiling too much? Yeah. Those are a lot of good questions. How Let us know. Be Let's sure see. to post your pictures on social and tag the Taste of Buffalo so that we can see what you're making at home tonight. And if yeah. you live locally, I'll come taste test. Hey, I like that. I like that. This is such a cool technique. That's it. We don't need a lot. I'm going to so have a new party trick. Yes, you are. <laughs> because it's fun. You know, it's it's that's what it's about. Get the family in the kitchen. Yes, get how fun. And do something different. Yeah, the kids can help out with this. I know it may seem a bit... Um, heavy for the season, but you know, when someone mentions pork to me, I think a schnitzel. Yeah. Okay, so that's what yeah. we're gonna no, do next. No, this is perfect, especially during the summer. I like to, you know, keep my bathing suit body, so I'm a meat and potatoes girl, and uh, this is perfect. <laughs> I love that. You relax, that's a beautiful, <laughs> beautiful thing. I was so looking forward to summer. I know. So the taste of buffalo. I'm proud yes. to be a part of this. Yes. So I hear that the taste of buffalo, you you and the taste go way back. Yeah, I'd say we go and way it, back. Yeah, and yeah. it helped launch your career here in Buffalo. Can you tell me a little bit more about it? Well, after living in the islands for two and a half years, Grand Canyon in Jamaica, um, my husband and I moved back to town and took over Curly's, which was devastated after the seal plant yes. closed. Yes. Devastated. And we... Um, uh, did the Taste of Buffalo in 91, and yes. we won Best Food for the Jerk Pork. Yes. For, for the Jerk Pork and the Jerk Chicken. Yes. Year after year and year. I think your sauce had a major role in you winning that. Can you tell me a little bit more about the, your hot sauce and the marinade? Yeah, the hot sauce and the jerk sauce. Um, they're both, um, the hot sauce is available at Tops. Right. And I started in Hell, Grand Cayman, when yeah. I was living there. That's where I made it. Wow, okay. and you brought it back here to Buffalo, so thank you for doing that. Buffalo. Well, thank you, Tops, for carrying it. Yes. We'll get that jerk marinade yeah. in there. The marinade will be at Tops soon. I just know it. I'm going to keep my eye out for that. All right. So I'm going to just um, thin this down. My caramelized onions okay. are ready. All right. And um, are you ready to scoop? I'm okay. ready. Here ready, Chef. So this is um, cold water. Got it. All right. And then this is some ice cubes. I also, so we're going to shock them. Yes, we're going to shock them. This is right. what I do for my green beans and my broccoli to keep them green. So if you could be so kind to dig in there dig and pull in. those little babies out because I don't want this pot. They are so thing. cute. I know. That's special. All right, everybody in the pool. My onions are ready. Look how beautifully caramelized. Do you know what happens when you caramelize an onion? What? Are they brown? They brown. And you know what that browning is? That's the sugars. It brings out the natural sugars and Yum. onion. That's why we can make onion jam and things wow. like that. It so, smells so good here at Artisan Kitchen and Baths. I hope your home smells good. Wow. Okay, you got that? Okay, yeah. let's do one more okay. batch. I gotta pull that out there. Okay. And um, I thin this down just a little bit more because I think I was working just a little bit too hard. We don't wanna do that. This is the taste of buffalo. No. We don't wanna work too hard. Buffalo. So at home, a little more water, uh, milk if you need it, like I said. I if yours is too up. thick, thin okay. it up. There, thin it out. That's much better. Okay. There, doesn't even that That's look better? Beautiful. I don't know. I haven't been to, going to the gym as much as I should have been. I was actually okay. getting tired pushing it through. It's but okay. I, love it. <laughs> I don't know. Think of a German song. Okay. <laughs> I don't know many. <laughs> but I love it. The Spetzli is so good. And yeah. that um, schnitzel, we'll get started on that in just two minutes as okay. soon as I put this together. I've got Gruyere cheese. Oh, yum. Yes. Gruyere, um, I lived in Switzerland. I did an um, internship program over there for three Amazing. months. Amazing. Okay. Yeah, so I love Gruyere. I visited the village of Gruyere. Wow. It was all stone walls all the way around, like a castle, Beautiful. like a moat. And <gasps> it smelled like cheese when I walked into the moat, you know, walked wow. into the gates. That's interesting. See, yes, we come from I the city Gruyere. that smells like Cheerios. So Yes, that's very true. To visit that's one Gruyere. that smells like cheese would be interesting. And, and I wanted to say, you know how you describe the smell of a good cheese? How? It's like the floor of the barn. 
Okay, it's all that. It's all that we. And I mean, I want you to think about it. Like, okay, we're gonna talk about earthiness. This is Gruyere. Okay, very earthy cheese. I'm gonna. That ask smells you to like a floor. The barn floor. Wow, okay. that brings I mean, me back to the barn. I know. That's. I just want you to be able to describe cheese like that. That's I'm excited a, now. That's now an I'm, expression yes. that we say. I'm gonna use that when I'm out. All right. That's this good. smells like the barn floor, guys. The barn floor. <laughs> All right, so I just got to keep it in the center for this. Okay. That was my problem. We're just about How ready. am I doing? Do they look shocked? I think they're shocked. I've got one more little batch here, and I'm pushing it through. I should have grabbed one of those bigger colanders, but there we go. We're all set. I'm going to pop this here. Let you scoop that out. Shock them for me. Shock them. Shock them, baby. Shock it right. Shock it up, baby. No, shock it up, baby. Twist it out. And let's get that in the oven then. Okay. okay. I'm gonna pop that right in the oven in my casserole. I think we're doing great. At home, I hope that you're doing well. Yeah. If you're not, fake it till you make it and don't tell us. <laughs> I like that. So I hope your specs have turned out. We're gonna put it together now with just a little bit of cheese. And I'm gonna mix it right in with my onions and everything. May okay. I? Yes, please. You did great. Look at, now Do you mean it? Yeah, but look at, don't you love the parsley? Yes. I just that, love that little bit of parsley. Pop of color. And you know what? Just give it a little taste. This okay. Is, I want you to tell me, is there enough salt? Is there enough pepper? Mmm. Can you taste that hint of nutmeg at the yeah. end? Okay. Then we're ready. Wow. I'm going to toss this all together. Yum. And I'm going to put it in a casserole dish, and we'll bake that in the oven. Yum. Nice and shocked. They're very tender. Yes. Very um, tender. It's just a really, really simple dish. Here we go. We get all that. You don't want to overcook though, so that's why we shock them. Um, yeah, you just want to stop it. Yeah. Okay. And now I'll saute it up. I'm gonna add a little bit of cheese. Yum. Just a little bit. This looks delicious. Yeah. And what it, kind? This is Gruyere. Okay. Gruyere. And so then the onion know. was a white onion. That was um, a Vidalia. One yeah. of my favorite Got it. onions is the Vidalia. So we'll toss this together. Okay. Pop it in the oven. Oh, this just makes me so happy. You can put the caramelized onions on top. I just put them right in the dish. Delicious. Yeah, you'll love it. Bake that at 350 for maybe uh, 30, well, not even 30 minutes, about 15 minutes. And that is beautiful. Is beautiful. Wow. We'll clean up my mess here. Top it with a little bit of uh, cheese. I like it. You're cleaning up as you go. <laughs> Everything <laughs> is mise en place. Thank you very much yes. for noticing that. Yes, and Chef, why is that important when we're cooking a well, meal? I have my mise en place, which she noticed right away. My mise en place, my mess in place, <laughs> and that's what makes it fun to cook. Yeah. So organize every single dish before you get going. There's photos they took of my mise en place because it was so beautiful. Yes. They did. I saw it. Did. It did. I know. I was so excited. It so looked beautiful. Have your mise en place, okay? Yep. And um, clean as you go. The dish is filled up with hot soapy water, and I'm putting them over there. Okay, love, love and I'll it. wipe as I go. I've got my sanitation bucket. You like it? We're Make organized. Make fun. Yes, it is so fun. Let's I hope so. Are yes. Ready? Well, we hope that you're having fun at home cooking with your families. We hope that you're getting ready to pop it in the oven. If you're not, it's okay. Again, don't tell us. But we're, we're cleaning up as we go. Chef, while we pop this in the oven, can you tell me a little bit more about how you got started cooking? I know you went to the islands, but what was your interest? Middle wrap? Yes, okay. the sweet spot in the oven, it's like real estate. Do you like real estate? I love real estate. The sweet spot location, in the oven. Location, location, location. Yes, and when you have your own oven, location, loca location, location is right. Sweet spot is the center rack. Yes, okay, I love it. Flip it 15 minutes after or into the cooking period. Okay, I love it. Yes, you All did right. great. So tell me a little bit more about how you got started cooking. Oh, um, I was, I, oh, you're so funny. Um, <laughs> How I started? Yeah, I know you went to the islands, but what inspired you to even, you know, become a chef? Well, you know, I started cooking, um, I started in the kitchen when I was uh, 12 years old. And I had to wait. Yeah. And I was angry. Yeah. Because I couldn't reach the, the commercial dish sink at Curly's. Oh. I was very short in sixth grade. Yeah. yeah. And I kept waiting and waiting, so that's when I started. I started when I was in sixth grade doing the dishes at Curly's. I love it. So um, you and Curly's go way back. You have a history yeah. with Curly's. Curly's my grandfather. Yes. Yes. That's huge. Yes, Curly's, Curly's is a buffalo staple. Yeah, Curly's is my grandfather. Um, and I'm so proud. Yeah. And, um, you know, I'm no longer there. Mm -hmm. We sold it 14, but yep. God bless the, the, the new owners. Yes. They want to taste a buffalo, by the way. Oh, good. They're carrying on the name. They Curly's won. is still strong. Yes, they won with the... Um, 
Uh, they won with the jerk pork, uh, the jerk oh, corn, the corn. Good. And we're doing the jerk mayo today. Yes, we are. Oh my goodness, that's great. So yeah. another taste of the buffalo. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's get going. We're gonna start now on the pork schnitzel. Okay. Are you ready? Yes, okay, I'm, I'm very gonna, ready. Okay, I'm gonna have to get this uh, together. Yeah. I'm gonna get um, some saran wrap at home. Okay. You're gonna need some saran wrap. We're gonna pound out a pork loin, okay? I went out and I purchased a um, loin of pork. Okay. okay, you can use the tenderloin if you want. Okay. All right. And um, I had it, I just sliced it in four ounce pieces. Yum. And then, have you ever heard of butterfly? I don't think so. With butterfly. Pork? Yeah. What you, you know. do is you take the, um, the pork and you cut it almost all the way through. Okay. Okay. And then you spread it out like so. Oh, wow. And that's called butterfly. Okay. So now that it's butterfly, okay, I'm going to take this and I have a meat mallet here. Oh. And I'm just going to. If you're, if you're frustrated, yeah. you know, or you're, you're, you know, having a bad day, yeah, make some schnitzel. Okay. Make some schnitzel. There's my meat mallet. Yes. Yes. Okay, here we go. Our handy dandy yes. helper. Yes, you could use this or you can use that. Doesn't okay. matter. And, um, oh, wow. I want you to, when you're pounding, pull it out. Okay. Okay. I want it about maybe a half inch, okay. half inch thick. Get the anger out. All right. And now I feel better. <laughs> so... I always, when I have to, when I'm frustrated, I make something that I need to pound with a mallet. Okay. And this is your pork cutlet. Okay. All right. So and let's how get come going. we pour, how come we pound it out? What does that do? Oh, it's um, it makes it nice and thin. Well, here's okay. A B. Wow. Okay. So A, and then we butterfly it, and then there's B. Okay, so I'm now we've it. got a nice cutlet. Nice. Okay, a beautiful pork cutlet. Let me just put this in. It looks beautiful. And how do we pick a good cut of pork from the store? So if I'm looking at the shelf, I'm usually, I don't know which one to pick. What am okay. I looking for? Well, the more often the um, uh, the butcher touches it with the knife, the mm -hmm. more expensive it is. Okay. So I just buy the loin. Okay. And that's why I thinly sliced it. So I buy, there's oh. two, there's a tenderloin, there's a tenderloin, and then there's the pork loin. Got okay. it. Okay. This was a tenderloin because I was only feeding four of us. Yeah. Okay, I get the loin when I'm feeding the whole loin. I get yeah. that and then I cut it up in pieces myself. Okay. Um, I shop at Tops. What can I say? But you can ask the butcher and they'll yeah. specifically, if, they'll, if the loin's too big, they'll take it back and they'll cut it in half for you. Um, my recommendation is four to six ounces of pork per yeah. person. I love it. All right. Yes. So the, we're all ready to go. Now we season. Okay. Okay. And we're going to season. Part. Yes. We're going to season for a reason. And we're going to do the standard breading procedure. All, all right. right. And reminder for everyone at home who's cooking along with us, all the ingredients that we are using today are available at Tops Friendly Market. So you can get everything that we have here on the table at Tops. I love it. You're yeah. absolutely right. That's where I shop. Okay. So um, let's do, this is fun. So I just use the basics once again. Kosher salt, right? Yeah. Okay. Season and, from up high, right? Yes. Yeah. That's right. Okay. You season from up high so it doesn't end up all in all in one spot. Yeah. Okay. Plus, I think it looks sexy. Yeah, I like it. I don't You're know. Like I don't salt know. Bay. What, what do you think? She's salt bay right <laughs> there now. There you go. So season and season for a reason. I season both sides. Now, yes. Now this side. You know what I love? I love lemon. Okay. Okay. Lemon no. just, it, it brightens everything. Oops, did I drop my lemon? That's here we okay. Go. Okay, here we go. And I'm just going to This is put... live. This is real. We're dropping stuff. And I bet you are too. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I, how is your mise en place? Yeah. Did you have all this um, ahead of time laid out? Watch how easy it flows when yeah. you do. Okay, mustard. This I did not put in the recipe. This is my secret. You have to watch me to see this. So here we go. Dijon mustard. What this does um, is it just pops in your mouth. And I and a lot of people, it's not in any recipe, oh. you know. It's just something I do extra. <gasps> all right. We I, love extra around here. I, I just love layering flavors. Wow. So we've got the lemon on there. I rubbed it up very, very nice. Salt and pepper. Wow. I'm gonna so this that. wasn't in the recipe, so they have to watch this live to get yeah. this special the tip. Dijon, yeah, you know how so it's So if just, you're watching this live, you're we, getting... We do that. We're terrible. You're getting the special treat. Sorry, <laughs> but that's the <laughs> truth. But I can't do it without the Dijon. In that breading, when you bite into it, it just pops. Yeah. So now we're going to do the standard breading procedure. And this is the very first thing I learned as a kid. Okay. Because we did fish fries at Curly's. So yeah. I had to bread. This was, the, it's a funny thing. This is the first thing I learned when I was a kid. 
Wow. And what is standard running procedure? Set it up like this, okay? So the camera can see that, all right? You got flour, yep. egg, Beautiful. and then some um, breadcrumbs. Beautiful. But I got a trick with the breadcrumbs. I use half panko and half um, just regular. Oh, wow, okay. Why, so panko um, causes a problem. When I bread it with just panko, little spots yeah. show through, and you don't want that pork schnitzel when it hits the oil to absorb the grease. Yep. So my recommendation is panko and regular breadcrumbs. Uh -huh. And then you just mix it up. Yes, yes. And if you just have panko, I put it in the food processor just for a minute or two. Okay. I want it to be fine. So the panko is great, you know. It's really nice for that crunch. But yep. put it with a, a bit of regular breadcrumbs. Yep. So um, I am going to bread these yep. nice and neat. There Flour we go. first. Yes, isn't that beautiful? Yeah. So we're dredging. We're not making uh, fried chicken. So yep. you shake it off. There okay. we go. I got my pan getting hot. So fully coated in the egg. Yes, put that love into it, now okay? Now coat with the breadcrumbs. Remember, you got that mustard there. So give it a pat, pat, pat. Oh, that's... That's bad. Yeah. I hope someone has the um, Dijon mustard in the fridge. I was just oh, yeah. thinking about that, yeah. Well, it's okay. If people are at oh. home cooking with us right now, if they don't have the mustard, is oh. it okay? Can they keep going? Yes, they can keep yeah. going. How about Weber's horseradish? Yum. Well, I would do that. Yeah. I don't know yeah. Weber's horseradish yeah. mustard. So if you're at home and if you saw our secret magic ingredient of the mustard, if you don't have that, that's okay. Just keep on going. And next time that you make this recipe, have your mustard on the side, <laughs> right? Yes. You're right. I, I, I just thought of that as we're doing it's this. It's okay. They'll, they'll be able to rewatch this. That's the magic of this. Okay. We're cooking with them right now, but that's right. they will have this all summer long to watch. That's right. That's right. So um, we've got a nice hot pan, something you mentioned before. Yes. Preheat before you add the oil. All right. You know, just put your hand, uh, hover your hand over it. Okay. All right. And um, I'm just going to put a little olive oil. All right. And I have some butter here. I do use just a little bit of butter yep. um, after I brown it off. Just okay. to give it that flavor at the yeah. end. Never too much butter. Okay. We love butter. Really, really nice hot pan. If you put it in a cold pan, what it'll do, and put it away from you. Yeah. I'm being dramatic, but don't put it toward you, then it'd splash up on you. Okay. All right. Um, and another secret in these schnitzel restaurants throughout Europe, yep. their secret is to bread it to order. Nothing oh, wow. is pre-cooked. Um, oh, wow. And the crust is crustier. Um, so the one tip I, I want to share with you is if you would, bread it to order. Okay? I love it. Made with love. Yeah, especially just, for each order. And what would help them to bread it to order? To have what around them? Make it easier. Yeah. You have your mise en place. Mise en place. Yeah. That's yeah. the theme of the day. Mise en place. Mess in place. Yes. I love it. And make sure you got enough oil there to take on that breadcrumb. There we go. I have ghee. Did you ever use hair of ghee? I have never heard of that. What is this? Okay. Ghee is like clarified butter. Okay. Clarified butter has no milk solids, so I just loaded that up. It has no milk solids at all. Yeah. So it won't burn. Oh, wow. Okay, so you can saute in ghee. It's it's beautiful. It's worth the investment. You know, cost effective. Me yep. make my own versus buy it in a jar. Yep. And I put the jar here because... Yeah, let me see. I didn't... Yeah, I want to... It's ghee. The oh, Indians wow. use it quite a bit. Okay. So here's what it looks like if you want it at home. What else do you cook in this? Oh, you know what? Because I, I, I cook everything in there. Yeah. Okay. You know, my Lovely. eggs, um, I cook my uh, chicken breasts, you Lovely. know, everything, vegetables. Yeah. All right, and since we just dealt with raw meat, I saw you wash your hands over there. Thank so you. making sure that we're staying clean and healthy in the kitchen. Oh, Look at this tip. You're no, gonna I laugh, like You're going to laugh at me. Look at it. I always have my sandy bucket. Thank you, Jessica, for setting me up. So, yes, you need to wash as you go. Yes. I love it. Sanitation I've never seen in that. The kitchen. Yes, yes. I love it. And it's got a nice towel in there, so I'm, you know, I can I wipe love up it. as I go. Convenient. Don't have to go over to the sink. No. no. And there you go. And there's mm. your lesson I need. All right. I love it. it. Well, I hope at home you've got them in the pan. It's nice and sizzling. Yeah. I hope it's gonna... smelling good. Okay. Smelling right. good and looking good. Yes. Okay. Let me just grab my tongs. All right. We're getting out another pan. What will this be for? There go. Oh, we have to try an egg. Oh, of course. Fried egg. Nope, that's not good. Yes. Now, I want to challenge you. I want to challenge you to the perfect golden brown. Okay. okay. That is it. All right. I did so it. I did she it. She did it. So if you see this at home, this is what you want it to look like. Perfect golden brown. Okay. And that was by putting it in a hot pan. It yep. didn't absorb the grease. Yep. Um, and 
uh, just peeking on the sides. You know, you can kind of see on the sides that it's starting to brown. But that's my challenge to you. A perfect golden brown. We eat with our eyes. If it didn't have enough oil in the pan, you could see parts of it that, yeah. you know, are discolored. Yeah. I don't want... So, exactly. eat with our eyes. So, if it looks good, it's going to taste good. Amen. All right. All yeah. right. I know you're hungry. Oh, I bet yeah. our spatula is done. Okay. Oh, my goodness gracious. Is it done? Yes, that's what it's just done. Yum. Oh, it's bubbling. It's bubbling and it's beautiful. It's yeah. bubbling. And All right, so at home, make sure that you check on your special. What are we looking for to know if it's ready? It's talking to you. Here, look, listen. It's just bubbling right away. Oh, I hear it. <laughs> I know. And just a little fresh parsley. Yeah. And I'm going to take these out of the way and wipe up if I may. So make sure that you check your oven. You don't want to overcook the spetzel. Add some fresh parsley on top and let that sit out. We're cleaning up as we go. And are you listening to your pan? Yeah. I'm hearing the sizzle. I love it. We cook with our ears. We cook with our eyes. Well, that's just real hot. Be careful with that. Yeah. Yes. And it's beautiful. I think that is gorgeous. And that schnitzel's ready. So we're going to fry an egg up. Okay. Do you like your sunny side up? Yes. Okay. I love it. So How did I do? Nope. No, not, not yet. Really. I want to ask you, what did it feel like the first time that you won it, the taste of buffalo? How did that feel? That's a big deal. Yeah, I think it was a big deal. Yeah. I mean, it was crazy. Our, our family, our friends, um, I'm from a family of seven. So we yeah. had 76 volunteers. I had a big party like. That's how wow. we got the attention. We had the reggae going. Yeah, I Everybody love it. Everybody was dancing with music. Yeah. So that was back in the old days. I mean, that was in 19. Yeah. That's not done. I'm going to flip that and cook that out a little okay. bit more. But, but yeah, that was yeah. the old days. I love it. So if yours isn't golden brown, you can always flip it back again and cook it a little bit more on that side. Yeah. And now we're just going to do a simple egg. You can see I'm using a Teflon pan. And um, for those of you at home, um, a Teflon pan, some people are afraid of them. Yep. Do you want to know what you should be afraid of with a Teflon pan? Um, if you, if it, if it gets too hot and it starts smoking, that's when it's okay. dangerous. Okay. When it's smoky hot, don't do that with a Teflon pan. That's when you're releasing bad okay. Okay, elements. Okay. That's what we'll call that's it. That's good to know. So I want to just get my butter brown and bubbly. I'm going to have my mise en place by my side, which is salt and pepper. Just a little bit. Love it. Okay, I've got capers and anchovies. That's what we're going to garnish our schnitzel with. Yeah. That baby's ready, yeah. and uh, I'm going to run over and get my yeah. plate. Yeah, okay. go ahead. This is looking amazing. We hope at home you're doing well. Yeah. There we go. That is a red egg. Wow. I love schnitzel whole thing. Okay, this looks delicious. I, I was wondering, you know, how you feel about that. Okay, let me just, I just want to flip that over. I'm going to put this aside. That's for wow. me. Wow. Yeah, same you, tap for you. But you know how I'm going to have that? That's my snack. I'm going to have a sandwich. Oh, I love it. I love schnitzel sandwiches with oh, whole yum. salt. So I'm actually saving myself that for later. Okay. So well, gonna, if you're cooking at home and have a lot of leftover meat, you can yes. always do something else with it. She's going to make a sandwich. Yes, it's a wonderful pork sandwich schnitzel um, with coleslaw. And yeah. like a mayonnaise, make like yeah. that McDonald's mayonnaise. Yeah. So get um, creative if you have some leftover food. It's all about being creative in the kitchen. We're having fun tonight. I know. Good luck. I hope your schnitzel came out well. So now we're going to do too. a fried egg. Um, always bang your egg on a hard surface. Don't do the side of the pan. Nice hard surface. Wow. Is much better. Okay, I melted my butter very simply. Yum. I'm going to season. I season for a reason. Fresh yep. ground. Wow, look Yum. at that. Fresh ground black pepper. Ooh, it's bubbling. And what a difference it makes. If your Yum. family likes the egg um, uh, well done, yep. just put a lid on it. Okay. Okay, and turn That's it down. Know. You know what I mean? It like yep. steam. You don't okay. have to flip it. But okay. um, over easy, uh, you can take it and flip it with a spatula. Yum. Um, I like mine nice and runny like this. Okay, so yeah. I think that this would be perfect. So, Chef, I know your time in the islands inspired your jerk sauce and the hot sauce. You worked at a hotel there. Do you ever go back? Do you ever go back and visit? Ah, funny you ask. 
That's a good question. Do I go back? Well, when you own a restaurant, it's impossible to go back. Yeah. Absolutely impossible to take a vacation. I know um, fellow restaurateurs who say the same thing, but I joined a health mission 21 years ago. Okay. And um, I uh, assist a group of oral surgeons doing um, dental and he dental health missions. We do restorative Amazing. and we do extraction. Okay. As a chef, I love the extraction, so I assist yes. and I know ah! all the instruments. I love it. I know how to sterilize. Yeah. I know how to use an olive, olive plate. It's just like a pressure cooker. Yeah, And awesome. I've been going down 21 years. Amazing. And that's my vacation and all okay. the artwork I collected from Curly's was my gift to oh, myself good. for the restaurant. Okay. After. Can people still get involved and help you out with that? Uh, Jesse's Children is still going on. Okay. Jesse's um, Children. Jesse, well, no, now it's the Flying Dental Association. Now it's the Flying Dental. Dental Association. Dr. Kevin, he, he runs it pretty much. Oh, but good. They go to, um, every year in March. Okay, awesome. Dominican. Well, good for you. So here we go. Um, yeah. One egg or two, I'm not sure. I think maybe just one. Yeah. Okay. One egg just one. And, this is um, beautiful. Yeah, you know what? This is just a really. Uh, just simple dish. And you know what? This one's for me. It looks so fresh, so summery. It the does. Lemon. You know what? If, if you could get some duck eggs for this, yep. that would be wonderful. Okay. If you can get some um, quail eggs. Love it. That would be wonderful. Look for those at Tops. Yes. yes. They have a huge they, egg aisle. I know. It's can huge. you believe it? Yeah. But make that egg a big part of it. I'm just going to finish it with brown butter. Yum. Uh, brown butter and French's Bernoisette. Bur um, why am I browning the butter? Yep. The nut, wait till you smell this. Okay. Okay, I'm going to challenge you. Ready. The bernoisette is the secret. I know it's a German dish, but the brown butter is the secret to this dish. When you brown up butter, the milk salads caramelize. Okay, they okay. brown up and they get nutty. You'd think I had some nuts in here. What? Okay, bernoisette. You ready for it? Okay. I'm ready. Okay, and you bring your nose to the pan for me. Watch it start to brown. Okay. Okay. You can see it happening in the pan. It is. You can see it starting to brown. Don't let it go to black, okay? Okay, okay. It's got to be brown. Just brown. Got it. And then you bring it to your wow. nose. Okay. Oh, there it is. It's starting. I want to bring it. I want to waft it to your nose. You can I see smell. the sediment. It's like nuttiness. Hit it with lemon wow. juice, okay? I've got fresh squeezed lemon juice. And I like um, parsley. Wow. And, and then I'm just going to pop this over here. Um, and I have some. That is beautiful. Um, some capers. Okay, I love capers. I'm just yes. going to pop those oh. in. And for all those um, anchovy lo lo lovers, yeah. <gasps> do okay, anchovy. Okay, we're topping it. Or not Give to it anchovy. the final touches. To anchovy. This is beautiful. Or not to anchovy. Okay. <laughs> that is the go. question. Oh, <gasps> this is beautiful, chef. There oh my go. goodness. Good luck to all of you. You know? Let's hold it up. Let's okay. show everyone at home. Ready? Is this one still That's up? very hot. I think you I can take do this. It. You take okay. this. Okay, okay, everyone, let's play it up. I'll grab this. I'll grab yeah. this. Yeah, let's see them. Again, if you're at home, please take pictures of your food. Post them on social tonight. Tag the Taste of Buffalo. Chef Krista and I would love to see it. All right, everyone at home, we are ready to play it up. Look at these meals. Chef Chrissy, you did great. Thank you. We this, did great. Okay, I, I didn't do much, but I supervised, and she, she stayed in line. She did great. <laughs> well, you, Chef Krista, you. this is amazing. Let's turn it over. Let's show them all at home. Flip it up a little bit. This looks delicious. We want to thank our sponsors again, New York Pork Producers. Thank you, Tops Friendly Marcus. Thank you. We are cooking in the beautiful artisan kitchen and baths. We are yes. having a great time. And thank you, Buffalo Spree, another one of the sponsors of this virtual culinary stage. I had a lot of fun, and we hope that you had fun at home. Make sure that you take your pictures, post them on social media, tag the Taste of Buffalo and our sponsors. Chef Krista, I can't wait to cook with you again. This thank was so much so fun. Thank you so much. This was a ball, and good luck to all of you. I'd love to see your work. Bring a family together. Yes. Look. Yes. Well, thank you, and we hope to see you again tomorrow for another day of Taste of Buffalo Virtual Culinary Stage. Thank you.